Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Fenty Beauty. I feel like Fenty Beauty is probably the most highly requested brand um, as far as like questions that I get asked about. What's my faves? What would I recommend for this skin tone? What lasts the longest? So I really wanted to make a video just dedicated to my favorite Fenty Beauty glosses for you guys. You guys seem to really love my gloss videos and I love making them. So, you know, they just they're working i really want to make it a point to start letting you guys know what makeup looks i'm wearing in my videos because not every video is makeup related sometimes i'm talking about different things but i'll still get questions from you all asking well what did you have on what foundation were you wearing i want to start doing a better job of letting you guys know what i'm wearing um, this lip gloss that I'm wearing and lipstick is my favorite combo right now. The lipstick that I'm wearing is called Love You Back and it is my favorite lipstick right now. It's from MAC and it's like a nude but it has a lot of brown to it. Okay, number nine is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream. This one is in the shade Cookie Jar. Sometimes it's a little dark for me. That's the only reason why I'm putting it in the number nine spot. It's just because I do feel like I reach for this one more often than some of my other ones. This one I do really like because it's warmer. I feel like because it is that warm brown tone, it just blends in really good with the lips. You don't need a lip liner. Really pretty brown shade. And you guys know I have to put the shades on for you. I can't just show you these lip products without putting them on. So here's Cookie Jar. It's definitely more of a bold, like, going out shade. But you can tone it down if you want to. You don't have to apply as much as I did. You can also add a liner. I just think this one is so pretty. It's dark outside right now, so I feel like on camera it's showing up a little bit bolder than what it really is. I feel like maybe it's a little bit more toned down in person. But overall, I love this shade. And it's definitely something that I will wear out, dressed up with a look, some curls. Yeah, I definitely love like the overall look that this gives me. Okay, now our next shade, Honey Waffles. I feel like this shade is so trendy right now. More of like that warm, it's there, but not really there type of look. And I feel like that's so like in right now. So this one had to make the list. And this is another Gloss Bomb Cream. I really think that the peachy oranginess to the shade is what makes it like it's so pretty. It's definitely more of like my natural skin tone, but it has a hint of peach in it. And that to me just like makes it different from a lot of the other shades that I have. If you guys like the original Fenty Gloss Balm, this one is very similar to that, but it has a little bit more color in it. But so cute. Like how cute is this? I love when I find shades that are bold, but they're still wearable at the same time. This one works really well with gold shadows and like brown shadows. So it's not actually a gloss, but I feel like on the lips, it gives you that glossy look. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's still super glossy. The slip shines were a fave of mine too that she released because they're so comfortable to wear. Now I love the color of this, the color, everything, okay? But I need that super glossy finish. So after I go in with Cookies and Cocoa, I always apply Glass Slipper, which was her clear gloss. But you guys see I've turned it into like Cookies and Cocoa at this point. So I just like to highlight the center, bring that forward. Another combo that I love. This one is unbuttoned. So this one was more of like a liquid lipstick. And I like a lot of her liquid lipsticks, but this one was definitely like the one I would reach for the most. So I am gonna add a little brown liner. And that's how I always wear this one. This one will probably be a little higher on the list, but it does take me a little work because it's so light. I love the shade of it. But the fact that it takes so much work is what kind of keeps me from wearing it so often, like as often as I would. But when I do take the time to really get it to how I like it, I always love it. And the liner that I'm using, in case any of you guys want to know, is Classic Kim from the KKW line. Now this lip gloss in Diamond Milk is really what I wanted to show you guys because I love this shade so much. But I really use it only as like an accent shade to enhance other shades. I really love just adding this in the center. It's really icy, like an icy, cool gloss.
I know you guys see this transformation that this, like, look, okay? I mean, it just takes it from zero to 100. So I really love it just for that reason alone. Like, to add it, to make that pop. Whatever you're wearing, this to me is like the perfect topper. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this by itself. I feel like this just completely transformed my lips and now I'm in love with it even more. So that combo together, Unbutton and Diamond Milk, it's like one of my favorite combos from Fenty Beauty. I feel like this just stepped the eye up even more. So really pretty and that's more of a cool tone. The next shade that I'm really in love with is also another slip shine shade. This one is called Makeout Break. This one gives you that frosty diamond milk type of look without so much glossiness. And then I always add gloss to the center of this one. But the shade is perfect. One of my favorite shades to wear. This combo I love to throw on when I just want my lips to look perfect. Like just perfectly nude, not too bright, not too bold, but just perfect to match any and every eye look. And this one is such just like a clean and pretty look to me. I really love like the finished look of this shade. Makeup break and clear gloss in the center. If you guys are looking for a new makeup break and get you some clear gloss balm, it's called Glass Slipper and that's her clear lip gloss. So Glass Slipper is the only clear lip gloss. If you guys get Diamond Milk, you saw that has a lot of shimmer in it. The shades of Fenty Beauty just work so well with me. This is one of the only brands I feel like I can always just reach for different shades. I love that I can wear a lot of different things and they're all wearable. Another gloss bomb cream, this one is Fenty Glow. You guys probably love this one the most. I used to get so many compliments on Fenty Glow when I will wear this one. I feel like it's really close to what I'm wearing, if you guys can tell, but it has just a little bit more pink, more of a pink undertone to it. And I know a lot of you all love pink, so we're gonna try this one on. This is one of those shades that just looks good with everything. A lot of times I want a shade that I feel like I can wear with any and every single eye look, makeup look, whatever. Number three is Sweet Mouth. And this one is a really pretty light, nude, neutral pink. It looks like diamond milk with like mixing a pink shade. Now this one for me is like... This is my date night nude. This is just definitely one of my favorite date night lips to wear. Our number two gloss is Fussy. It's a mid-tone nude, but it has a little pink to it. So I feel like it just blends in really good with the lips. But it also, if you guys can tell, has a little shimmer in here. Now hopefully you guys see right away why this one is number two. I mean, it's just so effortless. You don't need to put liner on. You don't need to enhance it. You don't need to do anything to it. It's glossy. It's the perfect shade. It's nude. It's neutral. Everything I love in a gloss. So I just love how this shade looks. Definitely one of my go-to shades. It's something that has to stay in my purse, has to stay in my makeup bag, okay? I love how natural and just effortless this one is. This is one that you just throw it on and go, but it still looks good. You guys should not even be surprised about, I mean, look at the, look at the top. The shade of this one is like no other. I love this shade so much because I feel like my lips look the most like their, their natural state. Just enhanced a little bit with gloss. And when I just want to wear, you know, more of a mid-tone, toned down, neutral nude. This is different from any gloss that I have just because of the shade of it. Definitely one that stays in heavy rotation. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. I'm thinking about doing maybe like a MAC lipstick collection next. You guys seem to really enjoy my MAC videos as well. So that'll be coming soon. But definitely let me know what else you guys would like to see. But definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video.